for making dough 1 teaspoon of sugar 1 tablespoon of oil half teaspoon of salt 50 ml of milk 2 cups of all purpose flour now let's make the dough add the salt sugar nearly 30 ml of milk in it firstly combine the ingredients well cooperated then add water gradually to combine into a soft dough by adding the milk it helps to soften the dough and we are looking for a lecher porota texture and the salt and sugar will enhance the taste a little more knead the dough well until it's stretchy and pliable eventually apply some oil all over the dough it helps to keep the dough moisture and nicely cover with a wet clean cloth and keep it for 15 to 20 minutes now for the stuffing I got here one cup of breadcrumbs you may use crushed rusk or breadcrumbs one cup of raw peanuts and kneaded eggs one teaspoon of cumin seeds one teaspoon of coriander seeds one teaspoon of black salt now heat up a pan add the coriander and cumin seeds in it and toss them on a medium flame for few seconds and take it off put the raw peanuts in it roast the peanuts by stirring regularly for about four minutes and keep the flame medium do not brown the peanuts too much then turn off the flame and keep the roasted peanuts on a flat plate to cool off totally until it turns crisp and then by gently rubbing them remove the skin once the skin is removed put them in a mixing jar and roasted cumin and coriander seeds too and crush them into fine powder then add in a mixing bowl and the breadcrumbs and the black salt too now mix the mixture very well and that's it stuffing mixture is ready after resting the dough you can see it's nice and stretchy and soft as well now put the dough on a countertop and knead for a few seconds do not over knead the dough it will tear quickly the dough should stretchy form now let's divide the dough into medium size and bread some oil over the countertop it helps to not stick while you roll out take a portion and bread some oil over it and start to roll out in a thin sheet I'm gonna roll out almost in a rectangle shape also maintain the width of the shape if you roll the sheet in a thick like chapati you will get something else the total texture will turn out once it rolled out take a very few portion from both sides and fold it now place the mixture in the center and here I'm gonna make a circle in the middle and then crack an egg in it immediately mix it together here do not stuff anything else like chopped onion or chilies it will completely taste like omelette traditionally in Kolkata they only stuff like the way I showed spread them nicely and fold it you don't have to worry about the leakage of the mixture the breadcrumbs consumed all the wet mixture Now the Mughalai Paratha is ready. Now let's cook them. Heat up a pan and add 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil in it. Once it's hot, gently place the Mughalai in it. Do not deep fry the Mughalai, always shallow fry them. Keep the flame on medium and shallow fry the each sides until it turns crispier. And you can see how thin sheet is. The egg mixture will fluffy from inside and crispier from outside. 
Mughlai paratha is a simple recipe. It contains a few ingredients, but the taste is just fabulous. By adding more masalas and more ingredients, never make the dish perfect or tasty. Each and every recipe have a method. I can assure you that if you follow the same procedure, you will definitely recall the taste of Kolkata. And nicely press each sides and fry them very nicely. Once it's done, take it off. Now let's cut them and hear the sound. Isn't it perfect? Traditionally in Kolkata, they serve the Mughalai with dum alu, kasundi, onion, cucumber, green chili salad, and the tomato ketchup. As I said, do not add the onion green chili in stuffy. You can have it as a salad. It tastes really good. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.